The man and his girlfriend were married. It was a large celebration. All of their friends and family came to see the lovely ceremony and to partake of the festivities and celebrations. They all had a wonderful time. A few months later, the wife comes to the husband with a proposal. I read in a magazine a while ago about how we can strengthen our marriage. She offered, each of us will write a list of the things that we find a bit annoying with the other person. Then we can talk about how we can fix them together and make our lives happier together. The husband agrees. So each of them went to a separate room in the house and thought of the things that annoyed them about the other. They thought about this question for the rest of the day and wrote down what they came up with. The next morning at the breakfast table, they decided that they would go over their list. I'll start off at the wife. She took out her list. It had many items on it, enough to fill three pages. As she started reading the list of the little annoyances, she noticed that tears were starting to appear in her husband's eyes. What's wrong? She asked. Nothing. The husband replied, keep reading your list. The wife continued to read until she had read all three pages to her husband. She neatly placed her list on the table and folded her hands over top of it. Now read your list and then we'll talk about the things on both of our lists, she said happily. Quietly, the husband stated, I don't have anything on my list. I think that you are perfect the way that you are. I don't want you to change anything for me. You are lovely. You are wonderful and I wouldn't want to try and change anything about you. The wife touched by his honesty and the depth of his love for her and his acceptance of her turned her head and wept. In life, there are enough times when we are disappointed, depressed and annoyed. We don't really have to go looking for them. We have a wonderful world that is full of beauty, full of light, full of promise. Why waste time in this world looking for the bad? disappointing and annoying when we can look around and see the wondrous things before us. I believe that we are happiest when we see and praise the good and try our best to forget the bad. Nobody's perfect, but we can find perfectness in them to change the way we see them. My name is Abraham Undo and this is Gospel Empire.